While Christina Ricci is perhaps the most well-known Wednesday Adams, she is hardly the first actress to take on the character. Everyone who wore a gown this evening is shown here. Either you remember Lisa Loreen as the cute little Wednesday Adams from the 1964 original series of The Adams Family, or you saw her dance as Wednesday in a viral video posted to YouTube. Whether she played the part as a young child on The Adams Family, Ron Stay, or Halloween with the new Adams Family in 1977, Lorraine is the first and only female to play the legendary figure. She went on to have a successful acting career on television, starring in shows including The Girl from Uncle, 1966, Fantasy Island, 1978, and As the World Turns, 1990. People say that Loin's career stagnated in the 1990s because she entered a drug recovery program. She dabbled with interior design as a possible profession and subsequently lauded Christina Ricci's portrayal of Wednesday in the Adams Family films. Most recently, Lauren was seen in the horror comedy DR. Spine, released in 2015. Cindy Henderson first met the Adams Family in an episode of the new Scooby-Doo movies. In one episode from 1972, the Mr. Resolving group visits the Adams family house to discover that Wednesday has been abducted. Many of the original cast members from the 1964 series returned to voice their roles for the episode. Anderson took over for Lisa Loring in a recurring role as Wednesday on the Adams family and appeared in episodes beginning in 1973. The Scooby Doo episode turned out to be a pilot for the new Adams family cartoon, and the series ran until 1975. Henderson's last acting credit was in 1978, which was also the last time she played Wednesday, but she had been in a number of TV shows prior to her Scooby-Doo role, including Bewitched and the Partridge Family. If you ask IMDb, Christina Ricci is without a doubt the best choice to play Wednesday Adams. She elevated a supporting role in a popular TV show and animation from the 90s to the status of cult hero. The lovely deadpan and cutting humor with which she is capable. It's hardly shocking that this part alone catapulted his career into high gear. Why does it need to become heated first? Hence it is potentially lethal. When Ricky portrayed Wednesday Adams in 1990's One's The Adams Family, I knew she was just 11 years old. After playing Wednesday again in the 1993 sequel The Adams Family Values, Ricky went on to feature in films including Casper and Sleepy Hollow. Following the decade's enormous success. Although her career slowed for a while, Ricky never contemplated leaving the entertainment industry for good. Ultimately, it was a wise choice. Christina Ricky's career has recently taken off, thanks in large part to her leading parts in both the Lizzie Borden Chronicles and the Hulu thriller Yellow Jackets. After the popularity of the film adaptation of The Addams Family, which was released in 1991, a new animated series called Simply The Addams Family was created to continue the story of The Addams Family and their adventures. Wednesday Addams voice actress, Debbie Derryberry, joined the cast. Despite this, there were a few noticeable shifts, such as the character's typically serious demeanor being infused with more light-heartedness and laughs. In its first season, the show averaged 3.5 million viewers each week. Dara Berry, a voice actor with a distinguished career spanning nearly four decades, has provided the series with his signature voice for Jimmy Neutron as well as lending his talents to such diverse projects as Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, the TV series about pirates, Jackie and Bobby's World, The Baby Ogres, and Shrek the Third. For the 2024 movie, Dara Berry will again do the voice of Jimmy Neutron. With the exception of Lurch in The Thing, the whole original cast from 1991 had left by the time the film Adam's Family Reunion was released, therefore a new actress named Nicole Fuger took over the role of Wednesday Adams for the TV series that followed. Tim Curry as Gomez and Daryl Hannah as Morticia were highlights of what seemed to be a strong ensemble performance in Adam's Family Reunion. Unfortunately, they were unable to surpass the film's 1991 stars, Raul Julia and Angelica Houston. It seems that unlike other parts of the film's final output, his acting career was limited to the role of Wednesday in the TV sequel The New Adams Family. She only appeared in one more film, Stuff I Never Told You, 1996, according to IMDb.
1999, she aired her last episode of The New Addams Family. No one could have been more suitable for the voice part of Wednesday Addams than Chloe Grace Marantz, who professed to being attracted in the darkest aspects in life, when MGM recreated The Addams Family in 2019 as an animated picture The Addams Family. Moritz, in an interview with the AV Club, confirmed that she reprised the role for the 2021 sequel The Addams Family, in which Wednesday plays a central role and is praised for her ability to handle the film's heavy wet notes. New York's Times before and after playing Wednesday Addams, Brad's resume is impressive. She made her acting debut on a comedy when she was just eight years old, and then after years of supporting parts, she finally showed off her action abilities in the 2010 film Kick-Ass. She then sent out an amazing drama portfolio, which landed her parts in films such as Hugo and The Clouds of Sils Maria. With Amazon's assistance, she is now entering the dystopian science fiction genre. Wednesday Adams has passed the torch to a new generation, and Jenna Ortega is leading the charge. In Tim Burton's Netflix adaption, she plays an older adolescent version of Wednesday Adams, who helps solve mysteries at the fictional Nevermore Academy. The series is named after Adams' daughter, Wednesday, rather than any of the other members of the Adams family. Wednesday in this incarnation is more darker and more insulting than in prior incarnations, a fact that was recognized by Ortega, who noted that the character could no longer depend on her childlike attractiveness to mitigate the punch of her remarks. I am well aware of my own obstinacy, rigidity, and obsession. Characteristics shared by both brilliant authors and serial murderers, a testament to the breadth and depth of her profession despite her relative youth. Ortega's career took off when she was cast as the main character in a Disney Channel movie, and then it crashed and burned when she was cast as a teen in films like Iron Man 3 and the TV show Jane the Virgin. She will be seen as Tara Carpenter again in Scream 6.